Hello and welcome to the Rare Record Room. I've been collecting vinyl for around 40 years now. I was buying records in the late 1970s and during the 80s through to the 90s and beyond when records were no longer in vogue and proved rather difficult to find. My collection is mostly guitar based music from the 50s through to the 90s covering rock and roll through rhythm and blues, beat, psychedelia, rock, soul, funk, punk and new wave, pop and Britpop. It comprises around two and a half thousand records, mostly LPs, although there's a few hundred seven inch singles, EPs and 12 inch singles. Most original pressings or unusual versions. And my aim in these videos is to show some of the more interesting that I have, or at least the ones I find interesting. If you do too, please feel free to hit the like button and check out my other videos. In today's episode, I will take a look at the debut LP from the English rhythm and blues pianist Georgie Fame, whose early recordings were credited together with his band The Blue Flames. Born Clive Powell in Lancashire, England, he took piano lessons at the age of seven and at around the age of 16, he played to audiences at a Butlins holiday camp in Pucheli, Wales, where he was scouted and signed with the star maker and impresario Larry Parnes, who gave him his stage name. He played for another Parnes recording artist, Billy Fury, and toured with the rockers Marty Wilde, Gene Vincent, Eddie Cochran, and the guitarist Joe Brown, who had been in Fury's band. Uh, Fury's band was called the Blue Flames, but when Fury replaced them with the Tornadoes, the Jilted Band were rebranded as Georgie Fame and the Blue Flames, with Georgie Fame also taking over the lead vocals. Notable members of the Blue Flames include the drummer Red Reese, the Jamaican-born trumpeter Eddie Thornton, and the guitarist John McLaughlin, who went on to join the Graham Bond organisation. The band had a three-year residency at the Flamingo Club in London's Wardour Street Soho which was beneath the Whiskey A Go Go Club and they were influenced by the US jazz and ska music which they absorbed from both the Flamingo acts and from the cafes around West London's Ladbrook Grove where they hung out. Georgie Fame was inspired to take up the Hammond organ after hearing the groundbreaking rhythm and blues instrumental Green Onions by Booker T and the MGs. In September 1963, they recorded their first LP live at the Flamingo, which was engineered by Glyn Johns and released on EMI's Columbia label. It was a selection of covers being a blend of blues, rhythm and blues, soul and jazz, including Baby Please Don't Go, written by Sonny Boy Williamson, Night Train by Jimmy Forrest, Shop Around by Berry Gordy and Smokey Robinson and recorded by The Miracles, and two songs by Mose Allison, who had been a major influence on the young pianist Georgie Fame. Their cover of Rufus Thomas's Do The Dog was taken from the LP as a single but failed to chart. The LP also failed to enter the chart and as such is pretty scarce and desirable and is currently valued at £90 in the Rare Record Price Guide. The original pressings are in mono only on the light blue and black design of the Columbia record label with the catalogue number 33SX1599. It features the standard period wording sold in the UK subject to resale price conditions together with the notice recording first published 1964. The rim text reads Columbia Gramophone Company and the inner bag is a die-cut used Emitex paper sleeve with a tracing paper liner. The album sleeve is the flip-back type which states patents pending to the lower flip-back and is printed and manufactured in England by Garrett and Lofthouse Limited. 
The sleeve notes are written by Johnny Gunnell, who was the co-owner of the Flamingo Club with his brother Rick Gunnell, who was also the manager of the Blue Flames. And that just about brings to an end my brief rundown of the debut long playing record Rhythm and Blues at the Flamingo by Georgie Fame and the Blue Flames. That's your lot for this episode from the Rare Record Room. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did like the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more and to receive notifications for any new uploads. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>